Good morning. As you can see, I've got myself a towel, got myself a mat, and I'm going to set the camera better because it wasn't so great when I set it up. We're going to get into some belly. So lying down. It's a little bit noisy here when cars go past, but do our best. Let's get our toes pointed up, hands behind the head, breath in, lift a sticking point. Now we're going to focus more on the lower belly, but we're starting with a bit of upper. Exhale up, inhale lower. As you come up, see the stomach move down. So, if you might have done my class prior, we're in Santa Cruz. But because it's a bit of a drizzly day today, I'm doing it under the terrace where we're staying. Which I'm very, very blessed to have a terrace. Because I can do this with you more often than I could in Isabella. Go for a few more. Last two. So this is the hometown of my husband. We love Isabella. But we'll see how it goes here. Come up halfway back and lift again. So if you follow my Isabella videos, it was all nature. Santa Cruz, for an island in the Galapagos, this is very much more cement. I mean, you can get away from town, but it's gonna be a, a hole with the equipment, but I'll try one day, a few more. Last two. Now we're going to come up and then a centimetre back. You know, I, um, when I used to live here, I introduced Pilates to the Lapalos. And the person that continued on from me, I bumped into her last night and she said, come, please teach a few classes in my studio. So we're going to catch up tomorrow to decide hours and everything else. But that will be nice. Back to the old stomping ground again. Two more. In a new studio, which is her home. Bring our arms forward, shoulders relaxed, and let's peel. Super slow. And then as soon as you get to the top, we're going to bring our arms down, shoulders relaxed, and we're going to bring the legs up. Now from here, we're going to straighten one leg at a time. Other side. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Can you see the beautiful yellow flower? So pretty. Four more. I think I have a parasite. It generally does happen here. But I have this like stomach that's just a little bit inflated and I don't think it's food related. So if you think, why has she got a stomach on her? I think I've got a parasite. <laughs> All right, bring those feet back down. Slowly roll back. And we're gonna do it again. Just one more round. Rising to sticking point. And then again. Like there. We did do quite a bit of exercise in Isabella. And yes, I did have a bit of ice cream and chocolate, but not enough for that. <laughs> That's all right. It goes part and parcel of living here. You know, the water, and you do your best not to drink it, but you've got a shower. Two more. Am I making Galapagos sound appealing to you? <laughs> Amanda. All right, come up halfway back. <laughs> Just a small one. The smaller, the better. You got four more. And then we've got our little one. So coming up and then a centimetre back. Really focus on the tightening in the tummy. From here, bring our arms forward again, shoulders relaxed, slow, up we come. We're going to bring our shoulders, relax them, come back halfway, but take your legs and open them and then bring them up. And we're going to do both legs lifting at the same time. Just because sometimes with the legs open, it can feel a little bit awkward. If you don't, I'm sweating from the last class. I mean, it's warm here. I don't think you'll be sweating if you're doing this in the winter time. In Australia, for example, but I hope that you go and do that class prior because it's a really great fat burning session. Two more and toning. Who doesn't love those two combos? One more. 
All right, bring the feet back together, lower them down, arms out, and then come down. Let's start some lower belly. So bring the legs up. This is as good as a mat I'm gonna have. We're gonna lower them down, and then just bring them straight back up. Not too close. My girls are inside. We just finished studying before I came up here. Anna's getting so good at her reading. She was already okay before we left, but then we took a few weeks off when we were cruising down from LA to Chile. And they can forget quick. She asked me the other day, do you think I'll forget to speak English by the time I get back to Australia? I'm like, no, I don't think you'll forget. Two more. Now I'm gonna take it down and then open and close and just stay there with opening and closing. Just four more. I'll give the legs a break soon to come down so the lower belly doesn't feel too intense and the back doesn't feel too intense. Wonderful, bring the feet down. We are gonna cross one leg over though and we're gonna to twist to that knee. You can do whatever you want with this other arm. Just try not to let it touch the mat. So I've got mine here on my waist. You can have it forward, or you can even have both arms behind to twist. Four more, then we're gonna to start to bring that leg that's on the ground in as we crunch up. but we're still twisted to that same side. Two more. Woo. All right, let's bring that foot down. We're gonna change sides. So excuse me, I'm turning away from you. Now the breeze up here is beautiful. Or maybe it's just my sweat is cooling on my skin. <laughs> Either way, it's nice. One more. Now we're going to do that double crunch, keeping the legs in that position, pulling in. next one you're going to stay up you're going to straighten that leg down and up it goes keep it going you've got four more and then I'll give you a mini break for the lower belly actually no what I'm going to do is I'm going to give us a plank so release that Let's get into a plank up on our hands to begin. So it's an inner way, it's a break. It's a good break. Shoulders are a little relaxed. I'm gonna make a fist just because I'm on a bit of a cushion and it hurts because the palm puts more weight down. Shoulders relax. Now forward and back. Lots of frigate birds flying over there. That's the ocean just there. One more. That's 
that's why I say I feel very blessed where we're staying. Isabella had a great location too, but not as comfortable as this house. All right, stay here, we're coming on to our elbows. Staying still. Relax the shoulders, drop your bottom, brace your belly. This is something I've definitely not done enough of. And no, that's not the reason the stomach's there. <laughs> Forward and back, let's go. Two more. I, I like that little interlude break. Let's flip over onto our back again. That sort of felt, that felt like the right time. Let's come onto our backs again. Go into a bit more upper belly once more. So we're going to come up and we're going to add the twist just to the same side. Upper belly, it's involving a twist, which is your obliques and the leg lifting and lowering. That of course is going to get the lower belly activated. In a moment, this leg's going to go straight. And what's going to happen is you're going to just bring it up to vertical from the horizontal. But let's do two more first. Now straighten the leg, lift it up, tap. Oh yeah, tap. I can hear my daughters. They'll come up here soon, potentially. They do have TV though, they can watch TV down there. We're going to go to the beach later. And then Ramiro's going to watch a bit, play a bit of football, so we'll go watch him play football. Two more. Last one. Get away from the madness of the centre. So we're going to just bring the other leg in, crossing out, twisting it. So entire core being worked here. Now, yep. a few more. the clouds breaking up. It was a bit strange the weather in Isabella. It rained more than I was used to and it was cloudy. So, and the high tide came at the wrong time for me to do my final video, which I would have loved to do. Now we're gonna straighten the leg after this one and bring it up, let's go. And it feels a bit strange here with all the clouds. They are breaking up a bit though. Wonderful. All right, so we're going to just bring ourselves into focus on the lower belly once again. So we're going to take our legs open, lower them down, close them, then reverse it. Open, lift, close, yeah? So it's like you're drawing a box with your legs, or with your heels. This is our final travel destination before we make our way back to Australia. We're here, settled in for close to four weeks. So I'll be able to get lots of classes in. We were in Isabella just over three weeks, which was always nice. But Galapagos is changing a lot, like I've mentioned before. So who knows what the future holds for the animals here. A lot of plastic we saw in the ocean last night when we got here. There's so many sharks, the black tip Galapagos shark. Wow, the babies, it was beautiful. But then they're swimming amongst all the plastic near the pier. I don't know, we're gonna go talk to someone about it. Make sure that they have the right people getting that rubbish out of the water. One more. All right, bring those heels back down. Ooh, that was good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to alternate lifting, bring up, um, not opposite, alternating legs in. As you're coming up, you're exhaling. Inhale as you come back down. We're 
going to do the same thing as before, straighten it up, attach it. It's not really the same because the leg's not going out to the horizontal, it's just coming up to vertical. This is working a bit on the flexibility as well. This is mostly a toning session. Go for four more. Wonderful. All right, I'm going to just roll my head back down, relax the upper body. Because here comes some more lower body, belly focus. One leg down, change sides. Now you can angle the legs away a little bit more too. Last two. Double leg, let's go. I'm separating them. Now together. Separate them. Oh, tight tone. A few more, and then I'm going to check how long we've been going. But we are going to fit another lot of planks in. One more each way. So strong. Let's come up. Let me quickly check the time. All right, let's get some planks in. We're doing well. Ooh, down we come. On the hands. Oh, knees under. Tap. Tap. Now the knees are coming under on this one. Two more. Then the knees are going to come around. Two more. And then the knees are going to the opposite elbow. Let's do it. Elbows, guys. Ooh. So good. Tap it out and in. Go. Tap. 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 Just eight more. Eight. Seven, six, five. Then we're going to do some boat poses, and that's it. All right, bring the knees down. Honestly, I don't know how long the battery will go for, but I'm going to angle myself. No, I'm not. I'm going to bring myself forward facing, just so I can do my arms because otherwise, the wall's in the way. Out, up, out, forward. It's just to start. Out, up. Now I'm angling back, I'm not sitting straight. My arms are going up on that angle that my head is on. Out, up, out, straight. Out, up. Oh, that's not a sound you want to hear. Hopefully you didn't hear that. That's fine. That's what I've been noticing more. I don't know why this time around I did not notice it when I used to live here. Especially in Isabella. I don't know, I've just got to Santa Cruz, we'll find out. Straight legs, stretch. It's a lot of spinning. It's like I'm back in China. You know how the Chinese and spit? I'm hearing that here, and it's locals. I don't get it. I don't get it. We don't do that in Australia. And my husband just certainly doesn't do it, and he's from here. And he, I never used to see anyone doing it here. So I don't know if it's people coming from other parts of Ecuador that it's normal. Don't know. It's definitely busier, a lot more people. All right, we're going to take the arms out. They're going to touch down slightly back, forward, down, and then lean right back. Tap, tap, tap. I feel 
so lucky that I've got this soft padding under me. Because I could do this now most days. I didn't take a mat with us, like I said in one of my previous videos. We just took so many presents and food stuff. I didn't have room for a mat. Four. Three. Two. That will do our belly. So I hope you enjoyed that session. Really good for the core. And I'll be back really soon for another session. Have a wonderful day.